Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, we're back with another Star Wars Rise of Skywalker TV spot. Uh, we just recorded one for Fate. This one is called End. Um, I haven't seen this one I either. either. I've been so busy with school and yeah, work. I haven't had the time I don't to watch see all it. These trails and spots that they drop on, you know, on TV. So we're gonna check this one out now. Before we get into it, hit that like, hit that subscribe. All right, hit that one. What we've done all this time. What are you doing there, three PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. This is sad. Confronting fear. Whoa. It's the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. Whoa. What's that? We're all in this. <laughs> the end star wars the rise of skywalker i think it's available now <coughs> wow that was that was pretty cool that was another another show and it, again they showed little little you know tidbits like you, you see all the trails and they see it, it like more to a previous spot that we said that i've seen on tv on another trail like the fight between uh ray and um kylo yeah they can just kind of you know, it's a little more extension of, of their fight on that ship or whatever it is they're fighting on. Yeah, and that, I think that's cool when Ray was standing there. It, I think that's Vader's mask they're looking at. Yeah. But the remnants of it. I don't know, it's kind of weird like how it got there. Because Kylo had the beginning of the movie that I thought, I thought it was got destroyed or something for some reason. Yeah. Didn't he destroy it from the first one? I don't remember. No, he didn't destroy it. You're thinking of his helmet. Oh, that's right. When, so, in episode eight, when he was in the elevator and he got all angry and smashed his helmet into pieces. You know, he so didn't I, destroy the Vader. I'm, I don't know I'm, what happened to that. Yeah. I'm really hoping that this that, that they have the Force Ghost Show for not just like, you know, not just Luke. I don't know if they're going to do this, but it would be really well, cool. Well, I heard. The Force Ghost of, of Luke and Anakin and Yoda and some of these other Jedis that have passed on. Maybe I don't really know. There's, be really there's cool been rumors. Of, there have been rumors about um, Obi Wan appearing, Anakin. I think they confirmed Frank Oz is returning as Yoda. I think they confirmed him. Yeah. But Anakin, Obi Wan, and the rest of the Jedi—they're all rumored to appear. I think I think that would be a cool scene if they actually do do that. That would be because the Emperor is so powerful, and especially that he's back because he survived the Death Star explosion somehow. And if if he survived that, he's powerful. So that means you're going to need more than Rey. And I think, uh, I don't know, Kylo's going to fight him too. But if so, then they're going to need more people to beat the Emperor yeah, and to feed him for I'm, good. I'm curious how the, you know, how the, how the Emperor survived. I mean, the thing exploded. How did he well, explode been... and it falls in and lands on another planet and now that's what they end up finding is, he, is yeah. what remains of the, the last Death Star. So he so died one got tossed over by Vader, then the thing exploded, and then he suffered like this thing would have to go through an atmosphere of a planet, then crash lands and somehow he still survives all that. I mean he'll be pretty powerful to survive all that I would imagine. I think well, if you read some of the books, there have been a couple books that people have written about the Emperor's survival and a couple of them say that when Vader fell down the Death Star, um something like jumped out of his body, like a spirit. And in which he basically somehow has the power using his spirit to recreate his body. And in which he got his body back. But at the same time, he suffered life-threatening injuries when that happened. And that's why um, when the main trailer came out, they sh people claim that he's like in some medical chair oh, or whatever, yeah, like on light support. Yeah. But if he's on light support, how is he this powerful? That's the question. And it's so, because obviously he's going to have to be killed in this one. I mean, because um, they're making a whole bunch of new trilogies out of this one's done. But he's going to have to be killed in this. But uh, the, also, the other question too is, does Ray or even Kylo have any sort of connection to Palpatine? Like, are they related? Um, I know there have been rumors that Ray is like Palpatine, like Palpatine is Ray's dad or something like that. And oh, I don't know. That well, I mean, that's trick. I mean, I don't know. Yes, I hope they 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 they, talk, they you know they finally conclude who our parents are, where she came from. Cause, yeah, I, th I think it's this whole thing, the whole trilogy that they just kind of leaves that hanging out there, like never explain it. That I'd be you know kind of stupid to yeah. kind of leave that. I mean, because I hope they brought, explain that. They brought it up in 
the previous two movies. So if you didn't bring it up, you have to have some kind of final resolution to it. You can't just leave it hanging. So hopefully we finally get the answer yeah. to that. That'd be kind of cool to find out. And I'm and I'm curious to see. Um, I think J.J. Abrams explained it too, but I, I think hopefully they'll address on how the Emperor survived his death and Return of the Jedi. and Because obviously he must have had some sort of plan to try and beat the Rebellion and just kill them all because... You know, in the trails, they show all the Star Destroyers appearing. Yeah. So he must have had some sort of a plan for... But the but the but also the other question remains is why did he wait 30 years to do it? 30 uh, years in order to defeat the Rebellion. I guess we'll find out. I mean, I don't, think, I don't think all the ships showing up is him. I think that's that's the first order. I think those are the ships. I don't think he has anything to really do with that. I think, I think we'll find out. I mean, more often when we see it, but... I really don't think he, the, the first one has nothing to do with the Emperor. I don't think. I don't think he... Unless, unless, unless it's going to be... Maybe those ships are the Emperors. So unless it's going to be the Return of the Empire versus the Rebellion versus the First Order. So maybe the First Order and the... No, no, that can't make sense. I was going to say the First Order would team up with the Rebellion to defeat the Empire. No, no, that wouldn't no, make no, sense. No, that would make it kind of silly. I'm not... Yeah, I'm... If those are the Emperor ships, and it's going to be the First Order versus the Rebellion versus the Empire. Yeah, if know. if it's the First Order, then it's them against the Rebellion. No, I think you're thinking way, way too much. But I, I don't think it's going to be just the Emperor's kind of by himself, and, you know, he's going to try to convince them using the Force. So, I don't know. I don't want to, you know, just start something, you know, that kind of sounds, sounds stupid. So, I think we're just going to end it right there before we get too much in-depth into yeah. it, you know, until we see this movie. Yeah. Um, Anyway, so that's going to wrap it up. If you like this video, hit the like, hit that subscribe. Until next time.